Okay, let's look at expanding binomial thirds. So what we've got here is two brackets, hence the word binomial, by bi meaning two. So we're going to have two numbers times together, and we're going to expand these brackets out. Now, I always tell my classes to, when they're not that great at using, expanding brackets, to use the words foil, or the word foil, to help them. And F stands for first, O stands for outer, I stands for inner, and L stands for last. If you do it this way, what happens is when you do do multiplying out, given most normal questions, it actually helps you um, simplify at the end. So, and also make sure you don't forget anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to times the first two things together, the root 5 here, and the 2 root 5. So root 5 times 2 root 5 is 2 times square root of 5 times the square root of 5. So we have, well, we've got minus 5 times square root of 5. And then we do the inner two things, 9 times 2 root 5. Well, 9 times 2 is 18. So plus 18 times the square root of 5. And then we've got minus 5 times 9, which gives us minus 45 for the last two things. And we simplify, start simplifying all this. Well, square root of 5 times square root of 5, everywhere we have a pair, we have a square. So let's, that means we just get 5 there. Times 2 is 10, because square root of 5 squared is just 5. Then we've got minus 5 lots and 18 lots of square root of 5, so that's going to be plus 13 lots of the square root of 5. If we take 5 lots off the 18... And we've still got minus 45 on the end. 10 minus 45 is going to be minus 35. I'm going to put the positive thing at the beginning because that makes it look a little bit neater mathematically. So we've got 13 square root of 5 minus 40, not 45. 45 minus 10 is actually 35. Minus 35. Okay, doing this one. We've got that is equal to... Now, the care, thing we've got to be careful about here is that we've got a square. A lot of people just square the root 2, get 2, square the through, you get 9, and just add those together and to get 11. And that's my answer. Unfortunately, that's not correct. Now, I've not written that out so as you don't see bad maths. Um, what this really means is root 2 plus 3 times by itself. Remember, when you square, you times it by itself. So, root 2 times plus 3 root 2 times, um, sorry, root 2 plus 3 times root 2 plus 3. And we're going to do the foil again. So I won't write out first outer, inner, last. I'll just say it. So the first two things times together is square root of 2 times the square root of 2. So there we go, square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Plus we've got um, the outer two things. So that's going to be 3 times the square root of 2. And we've got the inner two things here. 3 times the square root of 2, plus 3 times 3 is 9. And again, notice, well, let's just finish this off. So root 2 times root 2 is 2. We've got 3 root 2 and 3 root 2. See how these come together in the middle? So that gives me 6 lots of root 2, plus the 9 on the end. So 2 plus 9 gives me 11 plus 6 root 2. Two.